lovely Aquarius. This is your weekly reading. What do we need to know for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cross watchers are most welcome. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. That one is for you. Ooh, Aquarius. That's not your normal state of mind. We get the Hermit for you, the first card. So this week you might be finding some time on your lonesome, which of course is the quite opposite of what Aquarians are like. Aquarians, in my experience, quite um, very good at networking, quite social, but actually you do like your downtime as well. So maybe some reading, some studying, maybe there's something that you have to get done, you know, maybe a, said this to Pisces, you've got to do your accounts or some kind of seasonal stuff, um, maybe a bit of gardening, I think this person's kind of examining some leaves, I'm not quite sure if it's gardening or not, I'm definitely not a gardener, but yeah, something where it's just you, like you used to do when you were a child, you know, when you used to get absorbed by something. Wow. You then get the Ace of Wands. I like this. This is an injection of creativity and passion and fire and woof and chika chika and all of that stuff. When you get the Ace of Wands, it's a feeling of creativity. So if you are doing some study on your own, this could be writing, it could be researching, it's, you know, poetry or cookery or whatever it is, it's got legs you know it's got some kind of energy behind it i love that for you it's also a very good time we've got mercury retrograde still until friday but when we get that new moon on friday and mercury goes direct thank god it might be time for you to implement a plan that you've kind of had up your sleeve as well very interesting Nice. Two of Pentacles. Something in your life this week requires a bit of juggling. This is Jupiter in Capricorn. Jupiter being the planet of expansion and thinking outside, what they call it, blue sky thinking, that kind of thing. But then the practicality of the Pentacles. Do I need to move around my working hours? Do I need to change my working week? Do I need to change my route, my method? what I say to people, what I'm doing, my routine. It could be your kind of health routine or your way to work, whatever it is, especially with Mercury retrograde. Usually, and I don't know, let me know in the comments section, Aquarius. I find when Mercury is retrograde that I can sometimes try and go to somewhere and every single route is cut off. And you just think this is like a bad joke it's like a film you know where there's like men at work here and no no through road here and you're just like so leave more time as well for journeys and going from one place to another because you might actually need it i know it's mad isn't it Seven of Wands, Mars in Leo. This is about being defensive or defending yourself. There's going to be, because you've got that Ace of Wands, you've got quite a lot of zippity doodah and fire going on. So there may be a fine line between being defensive and rightfully defending yourself in a, a, a robust exchange of views, if that's what we want to call it. Okay, so in other words, you might have a row with somebody this week or there might be a bit of beef at work or something like that. And you might need to stand in your own corner, draw your own line, say what your boundaries are and that's that. It's something I think Aquarians are quite good at actually. And I, I never apologize, never explain. You don't have to apologize for it but you might find yourself getting over defensive. If you do, just pipe down a little bit, but also get your facts straight before you start the argument or the robust exchange of views, because 
you may get a little bit heated with that ace of wands and it's always good if you're gonna get a bit heated to be prepared Okay, the Ace of Pentacles, very nice. So you may be, because we're still in Mercury retrograde for the rest of the week, you may be reviewing your finances. That's the third time I've said that now. I've said it to you, I've said it to Pisces, and I've said it to someone else. It's not something I normally talk about, so it must be a bit of a thing. So it could be that you are talking about pay rates at work or pay scales or terms and conditions, something like that or that you're deciding what to do with some money, where to invest it, even if it's only five quid, 10 quid, 10,000, whatever. Um, it's a time to look around and to shop around and to get the best rates of interest and the best, the best investment that you can get. Again, when you get the Ace of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands, ooh, that is good. You get the opportunity to Kind of, if you're starting a business or something, you've got creativity and you've also got that really solid financial monetization side of it. I love that. You could come up with some very good money-making ideas. Love life. Oh, Aquarius. You get the Four of Cups. What is up? Okay, what's up with your love life? This is feeling a bit ambivalent, feeling a bit, ugh. You know, if I said love life and you went, ugh, then this is the card for you. It's like a huffy teenager when you're trying to offer them something nice and they're like, ugh. I'm very experienced with this, can I just say. You know, this will be really good, ugh. So it's that lack of enthusiasm, you may find that you're, you may be quite angry with somebody already, you know, someone that you have a relationship with. If so, try and slip into emotional neutral. It's not a week to let your emotions get the better of you if you can help it. Then we get the Knight of Swords. If you are on tenterhooks and you're waiting and waiting and waiting for something to come in, maybe a message from somebody, um, maybe a lover or a friend or something like that. Knight of Swords says you're gonna get it at the weekend, so it'll be after Friday the 15th, okay? So you can just stop waiting. That also, stopping waiting, really helps the good juju for the message to actually happen. Just distract yourself with something else. Oh, that's nice. Chuck Spezzano Enlightenment Cards. <laughs> you get the relationship card of neediness. So particularly if you're in a bit of a quandary and you're really waiting to hear from somebody and it's really taking over your psyche, just distract yourself, fake it till you make it, just get out of that energy because neediness doesn't always mean that you're clinging on to somebody. It can mean that your energy is quite clingy, that you need to hear from them which is very normal if somebody is sort of not, you know, when someone, when you don't hear from somebody, you almost get obsessive about hearing from them. Put it to one side, okay? It's coming after Friday. It will release that energy. And you get the grace card of innocence. This is beautiful. So again, I'm getting the energy that you might be starting something new this week. If you get the opportunity to try something new, start something new, definitely go for it. Let's have a couple of love cards for you, lovely Aquarius. The Linda Grace love card. Oof. Oh, nice. The F-bomb. Okay. We get forgiveness very very powerful and loving energy so this might be forgiving all kinds of things yourself your parents everybody whatever try the ho'opono pono prayer as well the hawaiian prayer of forgiveness because that kind of forgives you and everybody else all at the same time and it will help release that ace of wands and help release some energy 
back into your um, love life and we get chivalry. Somebody wants to bring it. They've got flowers. I mean, the horse might be a bit excessive if you're like living in a high rise flat or something like that. You'd be like, I don't know what you want me to do with the horse, but it's the thought that counts, okay? So somebody might be stepping up. Very good news. Leave me a comment. Check out your monthly reading Aquarius in the description box and I'll see you soon. Namaste.